Okay, so your question was about 10.2.23, Megan, and uh, you're wondering how to construct your confidence interval. So the thing is here, you can actually use technology to construct your confidence interval. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into StatCrunch and it will do it for us. So let me just get rid of this because I had run it before just to test to make sure that I remembered. So if you go into Stat, we're dealing with proportion, okay, and you're going to we have one sample here, okay, and we're going to do this with the summary. The data would be if we had like everybody's response and, and whatnot, but we're going to do a summary. So we have to put in a little bit of stuff here to get our confidence interval. So number of successes, number of observations. Um, you can actually perform the hypothesis test, but we're going to do the confidence interval. Uh, so let me show you how to put in your, your numbers here. So the number of successes, we have here that 491 people said that they were satisfied. So that's 491 successes. Now in total, the number of observations, the number of people they asked was 1,025 were surveyed. So we have 1,025 here. And then we want our level of confidence to be, I think, 90%. Was that right? So let's see here. Yep, constructing 90% confidence interval. So then I'm going to go ahead, and you can actually do a confidence interval plot if you want to see a graph. You don't have to. And just click Compute. So if you look here, I actually have a little graph, and I have my, my numbers here. So um, what we're looking for to put into your question piece is the lower limit and the upper limit, and that's usually expressed with... Um, these parentheses here. You'll have your lower limit in this spot and the upper limit in this spot and you're going to round it to two decimal places. So if I'm looking at this, my lower limit it looks like it'd be 0.45 and my upper limit looks like it would be 0 0.50. Um, so let's just check that. 0.45 and 0 0.50. So let's check. Yay, and that's giving me a good job answer. So um, try that out again. Maybe you can go through and say, you know, give me an, an additional question um, or a problem like it, a similar question, to try that again and make sure that you know how to do it. Um, that way you'll be all set for when you have your final. So let me know if you have any more questions.